Hello, is this Dreesy? Yeah. Hi, Dreesy. My name's Imani. Um, I'm with calling from Imani TV for uh, okay. the Create and Call interview. How's it going? It's not too bad. What's up? Not much. Um, this interview should be pretty quick and sweet and to the point. Um, I got like 10 questions for you. Um, okay. but if you could first start off by just like stating your name and where you're from. I know um, it says like Orlando on your profile, but I've done some research and it says South Apopka. Is mm -hmm. that right? Florida? Okay, got you, got you. So, um, and if I'm saying your full name right, it's Sandricia, right? Right. Okay, great. So, uh, my first question for you is, I know that your first song was Valley Chicks, and I saw an interview that um, your mom used to write down Trina lyrics from like a the stereo. I know she's yeah. an influencer of yours, but um, who actually got you started rapping? Like, or what got you started rapping? I should say, what made you want to start rapping? Um, what did maybe? It was it was more like I had heard Lil Yachty, yeah, and that was really pretty much it. Honestly, it was like all right, well, people like him for being himself, so shoes. I'm dope. Uh, people don't like me to be myself, too. So that was really what, like, kind of pushed it. Yeah, that self-engagement, that's super dope. Um, yeah. And feel like, if he can do it, shoot. I can do it. Too. Exactly. <laughs> I can feel you on that. Okay, so you mentioned Lil Yachty. Do you have, like, a top five favorite rappers? Um... Do I? I mean, yeah, I know that Nicki would definitely be one. <laughs> um, I don't let me have top favorite rappers. Like, I just, I know Nicki for sure. Like, I guess that would be my top. <laughs> that, would, that would be my top for sure, for sure. Um, It's dope that you mentioned Nicki being one of your top people because when I first heard your Quiet Storm remix by Mob mm -hmm. Deep, um, you literally, you stopped me in my tracks. I was like, who the fuck is this chick? <laughs> like, who, who says some shit like that? Like, I'm too pretty to be fucking around. I'm like, I'm living for it, yes, sis. So you have these hard-ass bars with this, like, subtle, sl like, slick sex appeal. How would you personally define your sound? Mm, good question. Um, I don't really know. I'm still honestly I'm still trying to figure figure it out as of right now. But um I don't know. I'm still trying to figure it out. Like I know who I am as a person, but as far as like musically How do you I'm still think maybe to grasp it. how do you think like who you are as a person affects you musically then? Cause I just say whatever's on my mind. Mm. Like whatever I'm feeling, just put it on pad of paper. Whatever. So I mean, you know, it's kinda like, I ain't gonna say that I'm ruthless, because I'm not, you know, I still got a heart or whatever, I still care about people and their feelings and stuff like that, but, um, I don't know, it's, you know, kind of, I just wing it, I just do it, I just say whatever I want to say, that's pretty much it, that's the way it ties into my music. Okay, that's super dope, I know that, um, with, like, listening to your On My Way latest drop, that your mm -hmm. voice is relatable to a lot of 20-something females. That's honestly how you got me. I'm 21. Yes. <laughs> um, you rap a lot about heartbreak and relationship problems. Do you have any advice for the females going through the things you rap about? What, like breakups and stuff? Yeah, <laughs> like shit like that. Um, nah, you don't want to ask me about no, about no relationship <laughs> advice. Girl, you heard Quiet Storm. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. You were completely well, you right. Heard that. Nah. Um, do you have a target audience? Because I saw in, um, what song was I listening to? And you're like, more females. Where is it? Um, you get more love from females, or more love from dudes than you get from females. Do you think that's like purposeful or just more dudes having to fuck with you? On a less petty level. Um, honestly, I I feel like I kind of get more love from females because it's kind of more relatable to them. Like, of course, you know, I get like, um, like guys that like my music and listen to my music, but I feel like it's more for girls that's like, uh, 
maybe like relationships kind of like it's going through hard crap like relationship wise and also you know some, sometimes you know you just gotta boss up on them you know so let them know <laughs> who you is stuff like that exactly but um I mean, I don't really have, like, a target audience as of now, Mm -hmm. Um, but, I mean, the people that have really been, you know, gravitating towards me, I've realized that they've been younger, like, younger kids, which it kind of made me like, oh, my God, I got to change my words, I got to change what I be saying, because, like, it's 13, 14-year-olds listening to me, like, girl, you got to... Do some. But you could you could be like Cardi and be like, that's not my job to censor what they listen to. That's their parents' job. That is true. That is yeah. true. Cardi made a real good point with that one. <laughs> yeah, she really did. Like, cause when she said that, I was I was kind of feeling I was kind of feeling it when she said that too. I was like, yeah, that's true. But at the same time, you know, you don't want exactly you don't want to grow up like you don't want your children to grow up listening to that. Like, yeah, I cut his dick off or something like that. Like. Yeah, like, dang. Exactly. I don't want them to think that that's okay. So it's kind of like you know, I want to make it more music that I enjoy making. I love listening to myself, but I also want to make it like child friendly. Yeah, as well. I feel you. That makes complete sense. Um, now my next question is: with the one hundred four point five, the beat freestyle, you have this ability to come out with hard ass bars. But then, like, you kind of sing more on your mixtape on my way. Are you coming off the top with your freestyle for stations like 104.5? Or are you kind of, like, writing them before and kind of, feel, like, feeling out what you want to do? And did you mean to sing more on On My Way? Or did it just come out that way? Um, <clears throat> as far as my freestyles, no, I'm not, no actual freestyle like off the top of my head you know you gotta have a big dictionary for that and my dictionary is not too big yeah <laughs> but um um i didn't mean to really sing much but you know i just go with whatever how i feel like when i go to the studio if i'm feeling sad i'm gonna come up with some sad songs like it wasn't intentional like yeah i want like eight songs on there we singing and then i want two rapid like it wasn't anything mm-hmm. like that it was just like i just gathered up all the songs that i recorded and then we just chose from there so it wasn't intentional but you know it happened <laughs> yeah <laughs> I, I fuck with it heavy either way it came out as a super dope mix ca- mixtape um you, too. <laughs> you're welcome when you blow up because it's definitely not a if but it's a when what's the first thing you want to do with your money or influence? Um, first thing I'm going to do with my money is pay my credit card bills. <laughs> <laughs> and you didn't go on flex. Pay that credit card Yo, bill. relatable. And, uh, <laughs> yes, that. Um, I mean, honestly, but to be for real, for real, I don't really, I don't really like to place my money anywhere. Mm-hmm. Like, before I get it. Because... You know, is I I always feel like every time I place my money somewhere before I get it, it never goes to that destination. So like, I can say, yeah, I'm gonna get a hundred thousand dollars. First thing I'm gonna do is buy me a butt. And that's and I get the hundred thousand dollars. I'm like, oh crap, hold on, mom need a car or something like yeah, that. Yeah. So I don't really, I don't really have no plans for you know when I when I do blow up and I get a lot of money. I don't, I don't even know. That sounds so stupid, but. You know, different strokes for different folks. No, I feel you. You're going. Whatever. You're going with the flow. Um, do you have any advice for the younger kids, like the 13, 14 year olds that listen to you, that are trying to do what you're doing? Um, advice that I would have for for them and also anybody else, and for myself, to be honest, is to keep going, like. Is days where, you know, you'll be feeling like you're at the top of the world, but, you know, you just got to keep it going. Like, you feel, you can feel like you up high, and then the next week it's just like, dang, what happened? I was getting all these features, all these bookends, and then the next week is like, dead. But you just got to keep pushing. You just got to stay motivated and pretty much just keep going. Like, that's it. I have to tell myself the same thing, too, to be honest, because... This crap get hard, it's expensive, mm-hmm. it's devastating. Because you be looking at other people around you like, damn, 
why I ain't there? Like, what they doing that I don't, I'm not doing? What they got that I don't got? Exactly. You so, gotta, I mean, that's really it. See the only conversation in yourself. I can feel you like that because yeah. even within the whole blog world, you're like, wow, sis over here is thriving and I'm out here. What am I doing? Like, I thought yeah, I was yeah. doing okay. And then you start doubting yourself. Like, what am I doing wrong? Like, nah. So, I mean, that's really it. And something I got to tell myself all the time is you started this for a reason. Like, yeah. keep it going. Keep doing it. People okay. listen to you consistency yeah and you have that voice that people are going to be listening to you and hopefully for many years to come um (laughs) speaking about that voice uh what's the biggest struggle you faced so far as a rapper and would you say being a female rapper has kind of influenced it more seriously like your struggles in the rap game um i would say the most hardest thing that i've encountered so far in this little year that I've been doing it would be the fact that I'm a female and this is a male dominated industry. Like, so of course, you know, being attracted, it makes it 10 times worse because it's like every person that you meet, not even gonna say every person, but majority of the people that you meet are men, producers, engineers, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And they see an attractive person, like attractive female walking in the room they not thinking about no business. They thinking about what's up. Like yeah. literally, what's up? I'm trying to I'm trying to rock with you. Rock with you. Like that's the honestly the hardest thing that I've been dealing with is people taking taking me serious as like an artist and not just a piece of butt. Yeah, is like I've been tried so many times with like with that kind of stuff. That's honestly the hardest thing that I've been going through right now. Take people taking me serious. How That's do you really how do you check those dudes that don't take you seriously? Because I <laughs> I come off as a harder woman and dudes are like, I was just trying to get to know you, sweetheart. Nah, you were coming at me crazy. Like yeah. now I'm at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I be I be on the same thing too, like like people in my DMs, yo, you so beautiful, you know what I'm saying? I wanna take you out, blah blah. And then, you know, I check them. I'm like, look, I ain't into working with you. Because then they'll turn around and be like, oh, you do music. I'm trying to get you in the studio. It's not going to happen. Exactly. Like, long story short, it ain't going to happen. Like, and then, of course, I just be like, I got a boyfriend. Yeah. Hit him with that boyfriend thing. Then they try and do friends. My, my boyfriend don't like friends. No. <laughs> Hit him with that shit. We good. We Gucci. Let's get this business done with. Yes. That's <laughs> It's wild, but niggas is wild. They be wild out here, yo. <laughs> I feel you on that. Yes. Okay, so um, I think that's almost like all I got for you. But where can we find you performing next? Mm, that's a good question that I don't have an answer to. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I do not have an answer to that, but um. I mean, I will be in... Actually, no, my next performance is May 16th. May 16th. It, yep, May 16th. It'll be at Back Booth uh, Sound Bar now um, for the culture. They're okay. having a show and they wanted me to perform. So that's this month on the 16th. Okay, and we can find your music. I know we can find the um, mixtape on Datpiv and Apple Music, but we can find it on all streaming sites, right? Yep, everywhere. I am everywhere, girl. Just type in D R E C I, and I'm gonna pop up there with a yellow background. That, that. You don't see me. <laughs> and then, are there any projects we should be expecting after this mixtape drop, or what's up? Um, not as of yet. I was thinking of dropping a project in December, but you know, it's just if things work out right. Pretty much. I'm super excited to start working on it because ever since I dropped my mixtape on the 20th, I have not, I I haven't been working on no music. Like, I just kind of been focusing more on myself and kind of trying to, like, find motivation to write about or topics. I ain't going to say motivation, but I'm going to say topics to write about because it's hard. I get writer's block so much, but, I mean, that's... That's really it. Yeah, I'm just excited to start working on that project. I want to drop in December, but, you know, yeah, it's yeah. not set in stone yet. Okay. Well, do you have any shout-outs, any info you want to leave with us for Imani TV? 
Um, I don't have any shout-outs. I don't have any shout You know what? Well, yeah, shout-out to my team. Family over everything. This crap won't be possible at all without them. Especially Kurt. You know, shout out to them. Everybody <laughs> rocking to rocking with me on my team and everybody. Ooh, people that love me. me. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. I actually um really appreciate you doing this interview with me. Hey. They tell me that I'm too pretty to be fucking rapping. So I got behind the mic and started fucking snapping.